A new details as the man charged in connection to a deadly carjacking in Seminole County is back in court. This time he was arraigned on several charges. And as Fox 35's Marie Edinger explains, he could be facing the death penalty in the case. Attorneys for this case say it is in its very early stages and they expect it could draw out for years. They also think prosecutors might be seeking the death penalty. Federal prosecutors read out the charges at Jordanish Torres Garcia's arraignment hearing Friday. Carjacking resulting in death, kidnapping, and using a firearm in the commission of a crime resulting in death. Those first two could result in life sentences. The last one has a 10 year minimum. But Torres Garcia's court appointed defense team thinks this may wind up a capital case. The indictment, they have listed factors that wouldn't, they have to prove to seek death in case for possible death sentence. Um, their motivation for doing that is not really clear at this point. What were those factors? This, there's like 10 of them they've listed. I mean, first of all, it has to be age. First, it has to be over the age of 18 to seek death. And then there have to be what they call aggravating factors, why this is different. You might notice Torres Garcia isn't charged with plain old murder. That's because the U.S. Attorney's Office decided to take up the case. To keep it in federal court, the attorney said they'll need a commerce connection in the carjacking, saying this car originated outside of Florida. We're just at the starting point here, you know, and, and uh, we'll see how, what, what evidence they claim to have and what they come forward with. Torres Garcia is back in court June 20th. That's just a status hearing. In Orlando, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.